gonna give you guys tons of ideas on how you can use your phone to capture content with your vehicles. As well, we're gonna talk about how you can edit them with apps on your phone and on your desktop that are free. So there's no cost associated with this video at all. You use the phone you got in your pocket. So that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is CapCut, and we'll get into that in a second. So let's go. So all that footage that you guys saw in the intro was captured on my phone. And the way that I did that is by using what I call the three over one rule. So that means I'm capturing the same one thing three different ways. So the three ways is you start with a wide or establishing shot, then you go medium, then you go tight on a specific shot. So whether you're shooting the wheels, get a wide shot, then a medium shot, then a tight shot, or the headlights, same thing. So that gives you a ton of coverage when you want to get into creating reels or cinematic footage. There are a couple of tools that I recommend. Of course, if all you have is your phone, then shoot with your phone, keep your hands steady. For the most part, modern technology has really good image stabilization. But another tool that I recommend is grab one of these little tripods from Amazon. They're like 20 bucks. You can just put your phone in this tripod. You can put it vertical, horizontal, whatever. And then this way you can start capturing videos of yourself. The next one I recommend is this little Insta360 Flow or any really gimbal that you can get for your phone to give you more dynamic footage using your phone. This allows you to do more fun moves, I guess, to keep people engaged. But let's get into some practical things on how to capture your car. So a couple of practical tips when you guys are shooting your car. Try and get to the exact same level as something that you're shooting. Don't always stand above it and kind of do eye level like this. And this goes for anything in life that you're shooting, whether you've got kids or anything, you wanna make sure to get on eye level with that thing. So if I'm shooting the wheels, I wanna get down to the same level as the wheels. If I'm shooting the tail lights, I wanna get to the same level as the tail lights or even lower to make them look even cooler. Another thing I suggest is move slowly. You can always speed your footage up in post, but you can't slow it down unless you're using slow motion footage, but move as slow as you can to make sure that you're getting as smooth a footage as you can and focusing on keeping the thing you want centered. Also think when you're capturing your content that simplicity will go a long way. I don't know what reels are coming up on your phone, but for me, they're either a lot of really quick cut videos or a long form six to 10 second video with maybe some text over top of it and some trending audio. So if you're taking six to 10 second short clips that you can either use for one long short clip or you're taking a bunch of videos you can chop up into 10 quick clips both ways, make sure you keep it simple, keep it really smooth and keep it slow. So check this feature out with the Insta360 Flow, you can tap and drag on something that you want to track. As you see here, you really quickly drag over the car just with your finger, it'll create a box around the car and then you can shoot. Then once we have that box around the car, we just walk around the car being as careful as we can with our steps to avoid as much shake as possible. And then once we've done that loop, it should have tracked the car pretty well, and maybe that's a good intro shot. So that's a good wide shot start. So if you guys wanna get some tracking shots, you can actually set this thing to track your car so that we can actually drive away. Super simple to use. You just click the button on the front here. It'll track what's ever on screen and we can drive away. Look, one more little thing is I've got a little CPL filter adapted to my phone using the Moment case and Moment lenses. So what the CPL filter does is when you spin it, it cuts reflections off of different parts of the car to make it look better. It's just, it's just what you do with car stuff. Now, if you guys are looking for inspiration on which reels to create, what I do is I go on Instagram reels and I scroll and you find what trending audio there is. And then what I do is I actually will click on the three dots down below and you can save those videos into a specific one. I save it to my reels folder and I use that as inspiration later on. Another great way to find ideas for reels is actually go into CapCut and they have templates for you. So you can actually search in templates. I've typed in car and then a whole bunch of really great templates already show up and you can see which ones have lots of edits to them, but it actually will then create the content for you. So you can just go get the clips, how I'm showing you to go capture them now import them into these templates. It'll already have tracks from TikTok or trending audio that you guys can use and it will create the video for you. Like this one, for example, I've already captured the footage. All I have to do is import it into this template and see how it spits it out. So because I'm on YouTube, I can't actually use any of the music that's on here because it's copywritten. So I'm gonna pull a track from Musicbed and I'm gonna show you a really cool feature that they have in CapCut to make our editing a heck of a lot easier. 
So once you guys are in the CapCut app, you go in and select the clips that you want to use. Once you've got your clips imported that you want to use, you can go down to your sounds tab. And in here, you can go and use trending sounds that are on TikTok or whatever. But for today's purposes, I'm going to import a track that I got from the music bed. And so once you have the part of the track selected that you want, we're gonna tap on that, we're gonna scroll over and we're gonna hit this little flag button that says beats. Hit that auto generate button and it's going to find the beats of the track and give you markers once the beats have all loaded up, you can see all the markers here. And if I hit play, you can see that all the markers are landing on the beat. So once we've got that selected, we can just come in and now you can see those markers on the timeline. So if we want, we can just start cutting all of these clips to match up to those beats, which is super easy. But I wanna take it a step further because CapCut is on your computer as well. And it's also free, but there's actually features in CapCut that aren't in Final Cut Pro. So let me show you some of those. Creating a project in CapCut on your desktop is incredibly easy. You just bring your media up into this media folder here, drag your media in. So what I wanted to show you that's really cool about this is you have things like vector scopes and stuff in here. This is a professional feature that's in Final Cut Pro. So you guys can make sure that you're monitoring your highlights and lowlights. And if you want to add color grading to these clips, it's really, really easy. You come up to your adjustments here and you can just click an adjustment onto the layer here and you can drag this over top. And then from here, these are the same features that you have in like Premiere, for example, whether you need to add contrast, bring the highlights down, everything you need is right here. Now, one feature that I'm super into is you can actually drag one of your own custom LUTs onto this. So I'm gonna drag this one down here and it's going to drag across all of our clips and you can come over here and you can adjust the intensity of that LUT. And then of course you can dial in your preferences. So if you want more, brightness or if you want to add some details in the shadows you can do that you can even go into the hsl panels and dial out certain colors that you don't want and they also have a curves tool which is a super professional <laughs> tool guys it makes it really easy to color grade these and make them look super cool and what I was saying that some features that are in here that are not in Final Cut Pro are things like these transitions so if you guys are trying to make those trendy videos that are on reels or TikTok or YouTube shorts these already have built in some of those really cool transitions that you guys can use whereas in Final Cut I've had to actually purchase packs off of the internet to get those features in Final Cut Pro so they're actually offering you guys a ton of the features that I think most people want for creating social media in CapCut. And it's free. Did I mention that it's free? I really do believe that this app is great for content creators that are in the beginning stages. And obviously if you guys are creating content with your mobile phone, this pairs really nicely with it. Now when it comes to editing these video clips, I highly recommend you keep these reels very short, anywhere between six to 10 seconds. Use trending audio on Instagram if you can, and then extract that audio and bring it over here into CapCut or edit it on your phone as well. That way, the shorter you can keep your reels and the higher intensity you can keep them, the better it's going to be, the more people are gonna play through them. Again, just take inspiration from the reels that you guys are seeing on Instagram or YouTube Shorts, etc., and then build your own content around those videos. The videos that I've had the most success with on Instagram are the videos that are quicker cuts and they're actually quite short. So play with these effects, use the speed ramping, use whooshes, use sound effects, use transitions to keep it exciting and keep your viewers engaged. And as much as you can, use trending audio on Instagram or TikTok, whichever one you guys are on, this will make sure that Instagram is trying to push you guys up through their algorithm. I think something that's super encouraging right now about the social media ecosystem is not only do you guys have tools that are free, accessible, in your pocket, and easy to get on your desktop, the barrier to entry right now is easier than it's ever been for you guys to create content. But I hope that you found some tools in this. I hope that you guys found this helpful as well for creating cinematic car videos. If you did like it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You guys can subscribe if you guys are into this type of content and you might like this video here, but I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.